Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner, and I'm with the SolidWorks Education Team. In this video, I'll be going through an overview of the SolidWorks Teacher and Student Guide curriculum. The SolidWorks Teacher Guide provides an introduction to engineering design that corresponds to SolidWorks tutorials. This fully reproducible document incorporates lesson plans, PowerPoint presentations, student goals, vocabulary, and answers to student assessments. The corresponding student guide provides these assessments and exercises for students. Every lesson begins with an outline of goals for the lesson and what steps should be taken before beginning. The guide also outlines how each lesson contributes to core competencies in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The main portion of each lesson comprises a student learning exercise as well as additional projects and exercises if required. Students are also given a brief five-minute quiz as well as a vocabulary worksheet to test their knowledge of the lesson. Each lesson ends with a final lesson summary. The instructor guide provides additional information to help teachers. Included in the instructor guide are additional lesson resources, reviews of previous lessons, planning and teaching outlines for the current lesson, class discussion outlines and topics, answers to student exercises, and PowerPoint slides for showing to students. The SolidWorks Student and Teacher Guides are available in 11 different languages. Also included at the appendix is information about the Certified SolidWorks Associate Program that will allow students to prove their SolidWorks knowledge and expertise. The SolidWorks Teacher and Student Guides are broken into 12 separate lessons. I'll now go through a brief overview of each one of these lessons. Lesson 1 will familiarize the students with the Microsoft Windows user interface and the SolidWorks user interface. Lesson 2 is about learning the basic functionality of the SolidWorks software. Students will create a simple part using 2D sketch geometry and then create 3D features from that sketch geometry such as extruded base, extruded cut, fillet, and shell. Lesson 2 also contains an additional exercise to design a simple switch plate cover. Lesson 3 expands on the skills built in Lesson 2. Students will use these skills to build a part contained in the first tutorial that is built into SolidWorks. Additional exercises in this lesson include modifying the tutorial part here and also creating a CD jewel case and storage box. Lesson 4 introduces the concept of assemblies. Students will create a new part and then use the part from Lesson 3 to generate an assembly. Additional exercises in this lesson include designing a switch plate assembly, a CD storage box assembly, and finally a claw mechanism assembly that can be actuated in SolidWorks to simulate motion. In Lesson 5, students will learn to use SolidWorks Toolbox to access a component library of standard parts. They will also learn how to modify SolidWorks Toolbox part definitions and create new parts for the Toolbox library. Students will apply these skills to the switch plate assembly as well as to a new bearing block assembly. In Lesson 6, students are taught to create drawings from their parts and assemblies. They will also learn how to apply drawing standards and create drawing templates. Additional exercises for this lesson are creating drawings for the storage box and switch plate from previous lessons. Lesson 7 is an introduction to the SolidWorks eDrawings program. Students will use eDrawings to create files that can be viewed by anybody who does not have a SolidWorks license. In Lesson 8, students will learn how to use design tables. Design tables are Microsoft Excel spreadsheets that automatically change dimensions and features of existing parts based on values in the spreadsheet. Students will create several different parts of the example from Lesson 3 using design tables. Lesson 9 will introduce students to some of the more advanced features available in SolidWorks. Students will learn how to do a revolve and a sweep to create a candlestick and will also be introduced to the 2D sketch tools such as ellipse, trim, and centerline. In Lesson 10, students will learn about the incredibly powerful 3D loft feature. Lofts will allow students to create parts from multiple profiles sketched on different planes. 
In the main portion of the lesson, they will construct a chisel head. Additional exercises include creating a bottle, a screwdriver, and a sports bottle. Lesson 11 introduces PhotoWorks and teaches students how to apply materials, scenes, and lights to create photorealistic images. Students will also learn how to create exploded views and develop animations. Additional exercises here include creating PhotoWorks renderings of previous parts and assemblies, and also creating an animation of a new nested slide assembly. Lesson 12 introduces SOLIDWORKS simulation. Students will learn the basic concept of stress analysis and analyze parts to calculate factor of safety and maximum stress and displacement. That concludes the overview of the SOLIDWORKS Student and Teacher Guide curriculum. For more information and to find out how you can get SOLIDWORKS Student and Teacher Guides, go to www.solidworks.com education.